everyone, welcome back to Cap Tech. I'm your host, and today we're tackling a topic that's been debated for years in baseball circles. Should Pete Rose be in the Hall of Fame? In our last video, we looked at why he deserves to be there, but today we're flipping the script and discussing why Pete Rose should not be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, I know some of you might disagree, but stick with me. We're going to break down the reasons why Rose's ban should stand. And at the end of the video, we've got something special for you, a song all about Pete Rose and his banishment from the Baseball Hall of Fame debate. So stay tuned, let's get right into it. The main reason Pete Rose isn't in the Hall of Fame today is because he broke one of baseball's most fundamental rules, he bet on the game. We're not talking about some minor infraction here. This is the cardinal rule of baseball. It's in black and white. If you bet on games, you face a lifetime ban. And Pete knew that. Every player knows that. This rule is so important because it protects the integrity of the game. The idea is simple. If you're involved in a game, you don't bet on it. It's about trust. Fans need to know that what they're watching is real, that players and managers are trying to win, not manipulate the outcome. Once that trust is broken, the entire sport is at risk. Now, some people will say, but Pete never bet against his team. And that might be true. But it doesn't change the fact that he bet on baseball. When you break the most sacred rule in the game, there are consequences. And for Pete, that consequence was a lifetime ban from baseball. One argument I hear a lot is that Pete Rose made a mistake, and everyone deserves forgiveness. And look, I believe in second chances too. But here's the thing. This wasn't just a one-time mistake. For years, Pete Rose denied everything. He lied to fans, to the league, and to the public. It wasn't until over a decade later that he finally admitted to betting on games. And even then, his confession didn't come because he felt remorse. It came because the evidence against him was overwhelming. So this wasn't just a slip-up, it was a years-long cover-up. For over a decade, he lied to everyone who believed in him. That kind of deception goes beyond a simple mistake. How can the Hall of Fame, an institution that's supposed to represent the best and purest in baseball, honor someone who violated the integrity of the game and spent years covering it up? Let's be real. Pete Rose's numbers are Hall of Fame worthy. We all know that. 4,256 hits, a .303 batting average, 17 All-Star selections, three World Series titles. No one is questioning his ability on the field. But the Hall of Fame isn't just about numbers. It's about more than what you did with a bat in your hands or how many bases you stole. It's about your overall contribution to the game, your legacy. And when you violate the rules that protect the game's integrity, you tarnish that legacy. The Hall of Fame is supposed to be a place that celebrates players who represented the best of the sport, both on and off the field. When you gamble on the game you're playing, it crosses a line. If we let Pete Rose into the Hall of Fame, what message does that send? That as long as you're good enough, the rules don't really apply to you? That's not the kind of legacy baseball should promote. And here's another thing to think about. If we let Pete Rose in, where do we draw the line? If we forgive his gambling, what about other players involved in scandals? Do we open the door for everyone who broke the rules? The Hall of Fame needs to maintain a standard. If you break the rules and undermine the trust that the sport is built on, you shouldn't be enshrined in Cooperstown. It's not just about Pete Rose. It's about preserving the integrity of the Hall of Fame. Once we start letting rule breakers in, we're opening the floodgates for others. And if that happens, the Hall of Fame loses its meaning. It becomes just about stats and records, and that's not what it should be. So, there you have it. This isn't about hating Pete Rose or denying his incredible accomplishments on the field. This is about protecting the integrity of the game we love. The rules exist for a reason, and when you break them, there are consequences. Pete Rose knew the stakes, he took the risk, and he has to live and now to die with that outcome. The Hall of Fame represents more than just talent. It represents the spirit of the game, the legacy of baseball, and the players who upheld its values. And for that reason, Pete Rose doesn't belong in the Hall. But what do you think? Should Pete Rose be forgiven and allowed into the Hall, or should the ban stand? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for more sports discussions right here on CapTech. 
Also, check out our merch store, grab some CapTech gear and represent the community. And if you're a fan of fiction that major publishing houses are too scared to publish, we've got some awesome books available. You'll find all the links down in the description. Your support helps keep this channel going, so thank you. And now as promised, we've got a special song for you all about Pete Rose and this Hall of Fame controversy. So sit back, turn up the volume, and enjoy. It played the game with passion and no one can deny But he broke a sacred rule and you can't just let it slide It means you're left in the dust 